It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Wednesday, February 8th, 2012. I am James Burns, breaking down the caucus and primary results. And first off, we'll talk about how Obama did. Well, he ran uncontested in Missouri, Minnesota, and Colorado, so he won the Missouri primary, and he also won the Minnesota and Colorado caucuses. Switching over to the Republican side, surprisingly, this was a very good night for Rick Santorum. He was just about down and out, and it looks like he's got a new lease on life for the GOP primaries. He had a hat trick. He won the Missouri primary by 55% of the vote with over 138,000 votes. Romney came in second place at 25% with over 63,000 votes. Ron Paul came in third place in the Show Me State with 12% with over 30,000 votes. And Newt Gingrich did not make the ballot. And at 4%, there were uncommitted voters at over 9,000 votes. And the good news is, for Rick Santorum, he won Missouri. The bad news is, the Missouri primary didn't really mean anything because the delegates will be decided coming up on the Missouri caucus, and that is on March 17th. Moving on to the Minnesota caucus, Rick Santorum won with 45% of the vote, coming in with over 20,000 votes. Ron Paul got in second place with 27% and over 12,000 votes. Mitt Romney came in third place in Minnesota with 17% of the vote at 7,800 votes. And Gingrich came in third place with 11% at 5,000 votes even. And this is 86% reporting in the Minnesota caucus. Looking back in 2008 in the Minnesota caucus, Mitt Romney won Minnesota with 41% of the vote. He got 25,990 votes, and Ron Paul came in fourth place back in 2008 at 15.68% with 9,850 votes. So with only 86 reporting so far in the Minnesota caucus, Ron Paul will do better than he did in 2008. Once again, Rick Santorum was the big winner tonight in Minnesota. He was also the winner in Colorado fulfilling the hat trick for the evening, winning the Missouri primary, the Minnesota caucus, and now the Colorado caucus. He came in first place at 40% of the vote with over 26,000 votes. Mitt Romney came in second place, 35% of the vote with over 23,000 votes. Newt Gingrich came in third place at 13% in Colorado with over 8,400 votes. And Ron Paul came in last place at 12% with over 7,700 votes in Colorado. And back in 2008, Mitt Romney won Colorado with 60% of the vote at over 42,000 votes. And Ron Paul came in fourth place in Colorado at 8.42% with over 5,910 votes. So despite the fact that Mitt Romney won Florida and Nevada this year, he lost two states that he won in 2008, that being Minnesota and Colorado. With Santorum getting a healthy chunk of those 76 delegates from both the Colorado and Minnesota caucuses, this race is once again far from over, and it's not a safe bet for Mitt Romney. He thought he was in the clear. He thought that he was going to be cruising all the way to Tampa. But once again, the rug has been pulled from underneath Mitt Romney's $1,000 shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes he has. I'm sure they costed a few bucks. But this race is far from over with plenty more caucuses and primaries heading our way. And this weekend is going to be the wrap-up of the main caucus. It's been going on for the past week now. It opened on the 4th, and unlike all the other primaries and caucuses, which last only a day, the main caucus went on for a full week. So we'll have the results from that coming your way this Saturday on the Freedom Files podcast. Well, Saturday evening, Sunday morning once they come in. 
And don't forget to join us tomorrow, Thursday, as we'll be joined by Bob Chapman. His website is theinternationalforecaster.com. And if you have a question for Bob, be sure and send it my way via the Freedom Files website, freedomfiles.us. From there, you can check out past shows, past guest interviews. We're also linked up to several social sites, Facebook, YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Freedom Files US. You can also follow me on Twitter, and you can vote in our brand new poll question, what is the worst choice for president? Log on to freedomfiles.us and cast your vote. And join me Monday through Thursday, 9 to 11 p.m. Central, 10 to midnight Eastern, for the Freedom Files radio show on Ron Paul Radio.